Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, I wanna share with you an awesome song. In this one, we're gonna dive into how to play Rocket Man as recorded by Elton John on guitar. Now this song has just two sections to it, the verse and the chorus, and I'm gonna show you those parts, show you the chords, how to strum it. We're also gonna use a capo on the third fret. I think that's the easiest way to play this, but keep in mind if you're a more advanced player as well, you could always just play these chords as bar chords if you want as well. But before we dive into the lesson, I want to hook you up with something right away and put something in your hand that actually has to do with tuning your guitar. And let me ask you, have you ever struggled with getting your guitar in tune without a tuner? Well, if so, I want to tell you about a secret tuning method that I came up with that no one's talking about. And using this method, I was able to fix my tuning problems on my guitar. I was able to grab it and always get it in tune right away and quickly. So what I did was put together just a simple five-step PDF guide that's going to show you this method and how you can start tuning up your guitar this way. And I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning and you can grab it right there as my gift to you and remember that even as we're working all this stuff out on guitar like learning tunes and learning to play if you're a little out of tune it's a bummer so grab this again just go to johnmclennan.com slash tuning or I made it easy for you just click that first link down below so hope you enjoy that. With that said, let's break it down. All right, so the first part we're gonna learn is the verse, and this is how the song kicks off, right where Elton comes in singing, she packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Here's what we're gonna play. All right, so that's the first part. Now we're starting out on an E minor seven chord. And again, I've got that capo here on the third fret. Now for E minor seven, we're gonna play actually just one finger here. I'm gonna put my middle finger on the second fret from the capo on the A string. That's E minor seven. It looks like your typical E minor, but you take off that one note on the fourth string. Let it ring open. From there, we're gonna go to A7. And that's from the fifth string down, open, two, open, two, open. So I moved my middle finger down and added my ring finger on the second string. Then we do it again, E minor to A7. Now, essentially, these chords are gonna last at the top here one bar per chord. And I'm gonna strum with this chord progression like this. So here I'm playing this pattern. If I said the strumming directions, it would go down, down, up, up, down, then down, up, down, up. So let me break that down into two parts. The first part goes down, down, up. Okay, so that's one E and a two E and a. And in my mind, I'm thinking this 16th note, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One E and a two E and a. So that's down, down, up. Then we'll go three E and a. That's up, down, and then on beat four, we'll go four, E, and, uh, that's down, up, down, up. So the second half beats three and four, go three, E, and, uh, four, E, and, uh, that's up, down, down, up, down, up. And all together, it's gonna go one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, a uh, three, E, and, a uh, four, E, and, uh, or down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. So that's just a sample pattern, and you can actually use that through the entire song. Now there's gonna be a few little changes that we're gonna come across as we go through this, but in general, I would use that pattern. So let me put that together with the first couple bars here. She packed my bags last night, pre-flight. Zero hour. All 
All right, there we have this little passing chord as we move from the A7 up to a C chord. And what we're gonna do is play that chord there. It's a G over B. And that's starting on the fifth string. Two, open, open, three. So I've got A7, G over B, and then C. That's three, two, open, one, open. Now rhythmically, that comes in beat four. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. It's right after beat four. It's the next 16th note. Four E and a one. And then you land on the C chord on the downbeat. Then we'll go like this. And we go back to the top. So these next couple bars here, we start on that C chord. Now for the next three bars, basically we're gonna have two chords per bar. So we're going to go C to G over B, which is just right back the way we just came, right? To that G over B, then go to A minor. This is from the fifth string down, open, two, two, one, open. Then you're going to take your pinky and put it on the third fret of the low E. Now if that's too hard, you could take off the ring finger and use that to play the third fret of the low E. So it'd either be like this, or you could do this. If you can, get the A minor, the A minor over G. And then we're gonna play a D chord, but we're gonna put the thumb in the bass. That's D over F sharp. And then we'll play D over A, which is just from the fifth string down. And then we'll play D from the fourth string down. So what happens is we're actually staying on the D, but the bass note is changing. And you hear there's like this little bass line, ba -ba -da, you know, kind of walks up to those different what are called inversions. So you have the D chord, but then we have the F sharp in the bass, the A in the bass, and then the root in the bass. So let me back up. Here we've got the C to, to G over B, A minor. A minor over G, D over F sharp, D over A, then D. Now the last chord, two, three, four, lasts for four counts. But otherwise, before that, we're playing two beats per chord. Now when I do have two beats per chord, I do just this pattern. Down, 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 up. It's just one and two and a three and four. I miss the earth so much, I miss my wife It's lonely out in space Walk it up, see How the chords start moving faster Now the second time into the chorus. I think it's going to be a long, long time. So basically what I did was go back and repeat the verse. Now the first time when we end the progression, we stay on D for a full bar and then we go back to the E minor. Now the second time we do this. So that's a D chord. One and two E and a. Same as before. And then three E and a. Four E and a. We go to a C chord with a D in the bass. And that's just one finger, right? On the first fret, the second string, and we play from four down. So it's one and a two and a three E and a four E and a. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. And we're into the chorus. So let's try the whole verse. I'm gonna back up, we're gonna play it two times. So we have that first ending where we just stay on the D and then the second ending where we go to the chorus. Get set and I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. She packed my bags last night, three flight. Zero hour, night.
great work making it this far. You've got down the first section of this song. There's one other part, the chorus, and this is where Elton sings, and I think it's going to be a long, long time. Here's what it sounds like. Then we're back to the verse there. So we're starting on the G chord, and I actually like this G. I'm playing my ring finger on the low E string and my pinky finger on the high E string at the third fret. I'm muting off the fifth string. Now strumming wise here, you can do that same pattern we did in the verse. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a down, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up, C. Then we go to C for a bar. Back to G. Now here we have two chords per bar. We're gonna go C to G over B. So here I'll play down, 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 up, switch. Then a little twist here. We go, we go to an A chord. And that I just play, I mean you could do it any A that's comfortable for you. There I was actually just doing one finger, so I was playing open, two, two, two. One E and two E, and then we do this little, little lick there. That's an A sus four chord. So we take that A, and we add the third fret on the second string, and then take it off like this. So that's one E and a two E and a three E and a down, down. Up there on the sus4 and then take it off up down down up down up it's the same pattern that we were using earlier we're just fitting the chords into it 1e e and a 2e and a 3e e and a 4e e and a c g c and then back the chorus goes two times, but that's it. That's the progression. So let me repeat it back so you can hear all of that together. Here we go. One, two, three, four. And I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Touchdown brings me around, I need to find. I'm not the man that think I am at home. No, no, no. I'm an A chord. To the verse if you're going back to the verse. Now the way the song ends is we actually just vamp those last two chords, which means just repeat over and over, jam out on those last two chords, G to C. Think it's gonna be a long, long time. So those are the two parts you need to know to play Rocket Man. You've got the verse and the chorus, just to review. So rewind the video and make sure you've got those chord shapes and the strumming patterns. And remember that as you're putting this all together, it's so important to also have your guitar in tune. So grab my tuning guide at the first link down below. This is gonna show you basically the secret method that I use for tuning that no one's talking about. And it's helped me be able to just grab a guitar, get it right in tune without a tuner. And I wanna share it with you. It's just five simple steps. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash tuning. You can download the guide 
guide right there as my gift to you. So you can always get your guitar right in tune as well. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and for more Elton John, check out this video next.